90 Day Fiancé has seen more than its share of unsuccessful couplings. Season 4's Nicole Nafziger and Azan Tefu are among the TLC reality dating show's most memorable failed engagements. Their on-again, off-again relationship was filled with drama that made them more irritating than enticing to viewers. The 22-year-old Bradenton Florida native and her 24-year-old Moroccan-born fiancé's marriage to be was plagued from the start. The pair faced a variety of challenges, including distance and religious differences. There were also striking contrasts in their personalities. The 2 attempted to walk down the aisle not once, but three times over the course of their relationship. Then, they finally called it quits for good. Here are some of the many reasons why this couple was so frustrating to viewers. Too much focus on the physical. Like it or not, what's on the outside does matter when it comes to the laws of attraction. While that alone can only carry a relationship so far, there is no denying that a certain level of physical attraction is necessary when it comes to finding a life partner. However, when self-proclaimed fitness expert Azan confessed to Nicole that he was only 55% attracted to her on the show, it was a major turnoff to his fiancé and viewers. Fans believe the remark was merely the first of many instances in which Azan body shamed Nicole. He seemed to be chipping away at her self-esteem. His constant focus on maintaining his health and body image, rather than working on his relationship with Nicole, made him hard to root for. Azan's visa. The fate of the couple's impending marriage obviously rested on Azan's K-1 visa being approved. Unfortunately, this proved to be a much more drawn-out process than either had originally intended. His application was denied multiple times, a story that eventually grew tiresome with fans. Viewers also became increasingly frustrated as the Starbucks barista Nicole, who has been branded a manipulator, worked to sponsor Azan's multiple visa attempts. In one particular episode, Nicole gave her fiancé $6,000 to cover fees pertaining to his status. The money was also intended to cover his daily living expenses. As it became more clear that their relationship depended solely on Nicole's financial funding, the audience checked out. Infidelity. From the start of season 4 until well after it aired, this relationship was loaded with allegations of cheating. Azan was presumed to have previously overstayed his visa with a previous girlfriend, which was allegedly why the United States kept denying his application, with whom he was still in touch. He was also accused of having active relationships with women in Spain, South Korea, Japan, and England, while engaged to his American fiancée, Nicole. Nicole admitted to cheating on Azan prior to their first in-person meeting. However, while she and Azan were still together, there was speculation that she had gone out with friends and purposely left her ring at home. It became hard for fans to take this relationship seriously when it continuously felt like neither partner was doing so. There are some 90-day fiancé couples that fans love to cheer on as they determine whether or not their relationship has what it takes to become a lifelong marriage. However, Nicole and Azan were not one of them. With all of the issues they were unable or unwilling to work on, Viewers had very little by which to be inspired.